Hi, I'm Pete Moore, editor of Shooting Sports Magazine. And I'd like to show you the latest Mauser MO3 called the Trail. As you can see, the rifle looks a little bit different. The orange panels would help in a driven hunt in Europe where you must wear orange clothing by law. Mauser incorporated this color into the rifle. You may not like it, but it has its uses. As you can see, the Trail has a short 18 inch barrel. This is designed for close in work like wild boar, woodland stalking, or if you just want a lightweight, handy rifle to carry around with. But it still packs enough punch to take down big deer. The trail is also unusual in the fact it has this muzzle mounted sling swivel, so you can put the gun across your chest if you want to. In this setup, as you can see, it has a small Leopold um, prismatic scope on it. This is really a close range scope for wild boar and that sort of use. However, the real beauty of the MO3 family, you can change this 308 gun into a 223 or any other caliber within the range in approximately 30 seconds, as I'll now show you. First of all, we take off the sling so we don't trip over it. Next, we take off the scope. This is done by moving these two catches rearwards. The scope pulls straight off on its own mount. As you can see, the, the top of the receiver has special locking catches in it to hold the scope. With the scope off, we remove the magazine. Then we remove the bolt, we move this catch here, the bolt pulls straight out. We put that down and now we can take the barrel off. As you can see, there's two screws here, these hold the barrel on. Put it in, turn, Turn, and the barrel lifts straight off. As I said, this gun is in 308 caliber. As you can see, 308 is quite a big cartridge. However, I can now convert the gun to 223 Remington. which is a much smaller cartridge. This is facilitated by the Mauser magazine. The Mauser provide a dedicated magazine for 2 Remington, 223 Remington. Same style of magazine, but it accommodates a different length of the cartridge. Mauser also have a facility for changing the bolt head to suit the new cartridge. All you do, press this catch here, pull out the 308 bolt head, insert the 223 bolt head, which snaps into position. I then take out my moderated 223 barrel, which I use for Fox and Muntjac in England and Wales. The new barrel drops back into the action. And with the T key, you wind the mounting screws back up tight. You don't need to tension these with a torque wrench. Once you feel solid resistance, the barrel is in as it should be. then take the bolt, slide it back into the rifle, insert the 223 magazine, and as I'm going after Fox or Muntjac, I don't want 
the low power scope I'd use from a driven game like Bohr. Instead, I pick a more normal type of variable scope. This is a Schmittenbender 3 to 12 by 50. All I do, make sure the catches are in the correct position, locate the, the locking lugs into the sockets and the receiver, hold the scope on, push the catches forward, and my 308 deer rifle in 30 seconds or so has now become a 223 Fox or small deer rifle. The build of the MO3 is a little different to perhaps the American hunting rifles you might be used to. Instead of having a traditional safety catch, which is basically an on-off switch, the Mauser has a decocker, which is this lever here. You can operate the bolt, take the rounds in and out of the chamber, and the gun cannot fire. Press this catch across, and the gun is now in a condition to fire. Every time you operate the bolt, the gun will recock itself. If for any reason you do not want to fire or you want to make safe quickly, all you do is press this button here and allow the lever to swing back across and the gun is now completely safe condition. It will not fire. A little bit slow in the safety catch, but very sure and secure. Okay, we're gonna start shooting the MO3 soon. Just a little chat about ammunition. I've been testing this rifle for a few months now, and I've found it likes 168 grain, 170 grain bullets. What it really likes is a Hornady TAP FPD. The FPD in England would be considered as a target round. However, the FPD is a ballistic tip. As you can see, this means it will expand into deer and Hornaday say it is very good on light-skinned animals, so we use it over here quite a lot. It's accurate, it's a heavy bullet, it puts them down well. The magazine holds five rounds. These just clip in. So. And now we're ready to put some lead down the range. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get some lead down range. And there you have it, the Mauser MO3 Trail. Short, handy, and very, very effective.